Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Uh, thank you for joining me today. I am going to be bringing you a six month review of this Gucci Marmont small shoulder bag. I've had this since May and I just wanted to go over with everybody what I thought of it in this time, how I've used it, what fits, wear and tear, and general details of this style. My name is Jane and I appreciate your joining me today. If you like this video, be sure and give me a thumbs up and I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. This bag is a gorgeous emerald green. It came out this spring in a collection of jewel toned Marmont bags of many different colors. I fell for the green as soon as I saw it in the store. Um, it also came in a sapphire blue, ruby red, and some other multicolors. It's still available, but not in this color. And Gucci just released a few new colors, um, which you can find online in dark gray and white and black. And they changed up the quilting pattern into a different geometric um, shape, <laughs> so to speak. Anyway. I will give you some details about this bag and we'll do some mod shots as well. This is the small leather shoulder bag. It is nine and a half inches across. It is five inches tall. It is three inches deep. It has gold hardware, shiny gold hardware. It has a zipper closure opening. The zipper is not as smooth as I would like it to be. I have been spoiled by some super smooth zippers. This one has a little bit of extra friction, but I can deal with it. It has a crossbody, non-detachable non uh, strap, which is also adjustable. As you can see, uh, this strap does not come off, which is... One of the cons, I would say, of this bag. But um, I loved it so much that I decided to overlook that. It also has this strap that has five adjustable settings on it, which unfortunately, for someone of my stature, I am five foot one. It is, I wish they had included a few more holes to make it, so I could make it a little bit shorter. Right now I have it on the shortest setting and I wish that I could go up another couple of inches so that it would sit a little bit higher on my body when I wear it. But again, this bag is so beautiful and special that I decided to get it anyway or keep it anyway because it actually came to me from the store. I had my sales associate ship it to me. Um, after I'd seen it in the store, I needed a few days to think about it. Anyways, so let's look at what fits in this camera bag and I brought a few SLGs to show you. The inner lining is kind of a linen cloth lining. It's not the soft microfiber that they have in many of their other bags. I'm going to start with this card holder from Gucci which came in the same collection. It is sapphire blue I love this card holder. It has five card slots, which is great. It has the same kind of teal trim around it. And this one I forgot to mention also has a contrasting green piping all the way around, which looks really cool. So I'm going to put this inside of the pocket that is in there. And now let's put my phone and my wallet, which is the Louis Vuitton Monogram Recto Verso wallet, just like a card holder style wallet. My keys right now, my keys are in this groom pochette clay. I have my key fob hanging from that. I need my keys. I can also fit a Louis Vuitton mini pochette inside of this bag. Though now I'm starting to run out of space a little bit, but it's still okay. 
So this is what it looks like with all of that inside. And it's, uh, I wouldn't say it's totally full or overloaded or anything. If you wanted to, and I would not do this because I keep everything in pouches, you could probably fit a lipstick down there. And here's my reading glasses, which I always carry with me. And now I would say it is full. And it's obviously not too heavy. This is what I would consider to be a small bag, but not a mini bag. And I'm going to zip it up and we will do some mod shots. So as you can see, I am wearing this crossbody. I am five foot one. And this is on the shortest possible setting. So if you are taller than me, and let's face it, you probably are, um, it will sit maybe a little higher. I wish this was just like right here instead, but it's actually not that bad. My hand can rest right here and it's not swinging down, you know, by my knees or anything. I can open it up and access my things really easily as long as it's not too overloaded. And then it's just easy, carefree, hands-free, super cute, adorable, Gucci bag. I absolutely love this bag. That about does it for today's video. My review of this beautiful Marmont bag. And I forgot to mention the price, the current price is $14.90. And hopefully they don't do another price increase anytime soon. I think the last one was in fact, uh, right before I bought this. <laughs> oh well, but it is worth it to me. It's a beautiful, beautiful leather bag from Gucci and I think it's just timeless. And it's also my first Gucci bag. Um, I only have two and I think this was a pretty good first purchase. If you've never bought Gucci before and you're trying to decide what would be a great starter bag, I think something like this, a smaller bag from the Marmont line or the Ophidity line, Ophidia line would be a great place to start. Thanks for watching today. I appreciate all your support. I love to read your comments. What do you think about this bag? Do you have this one? Are you interested in it? Do you like what, what Gucci is doing lately? I know that there's a movie coming out um, this weekend, House of Gucci, and I can't wait to watch it. So they are probably going to be getting a lot of attention and I hope that that doesn't lead to more price increases, but you never know. I have more videos coming up in the next couple of weeks, so stick around and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Thumbnail. <laughs>